I'm conducting a wear resistant test for 12 different steel and I, in this video uh, I will initially we show you how I conduct the test and uh, for this uh, steel is K110 which is the same thing as D2 and so first I adapt the edge for cutting uh, palm from um, again the cutting board and this is the end grain cutting board and um, so I will initialize this edge by make sure that the edge not too fragile or you know, yeah mainly more not fragile so that uh, we're not testing for strength or toughness we're talking about how long it takes to wear that edge from um, the newsprint slicing. I will slice at about 30 or 45 degrees. And so this one slice. And when it will stop when it tear the newsprint. But it, but it start out, we will initialize the edge. And so if the edge is still fragile, it will roll over or chip or something like that. Then we will make the edge more obtuse. Or the angle a little wider instead of really narrow. And look like this edge, I, I think I prepared it, but now they're a little they're a little catch there. And so after I initialize it, and then I just go and debar my edge, and the angle slightly higher angle, so make sure the edge is stout enough for this task. And this is DMT extra fine, and which is somewhere about nine to twelve micron diamond. And then I will miss slice again. And the cutting board again, the end grain, so that you do you end up with a lot of wear instead of if you if I cut against something really hard, then it will I mean let's like say a glass or something. Yeah, yeah, I will either chip or roll the edge. That will test for strength and toughness but nothing would, would stand glass anyway but in this case because you see how the uh, the board already kind of flaking like out been cut up that means you cut into the grain so you not really cut the wood that much except also the impacts are a lot softer so I'm going to so pretty much I push for and slide down until I end it on the board and cut Next to the heel is not as I don't I guess this is the area I'm cutting so next to the heel heel here is it's not that smooth. Look like I have microchips already there from my previous years or something. But and then I now I just go to smooth it out the last time. Well, let me debar it anyway just to be sure and so I fold it bar over by scrape it against a piece of wood like so and uh, I didn't mean to throw that in the garbage and let me see any bar yeah, there's some right here I will clean it up
I would test uh, the uh, paper cutting. It's clean enough. It's not super fine edge. Now I will start out with a uh, palm front that was about two feet long and start from the fat from the thicker end here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. So I will stop every 15 cut and detail one line. So one of the boxes, one of these boxes is uh, five lines. So it will be 75 cut. So that one, and I'm going to cut again. I'm not cut cross grain, I'm good about an angle wood grain a little bit up with the paper here. So, and if, if it caught a little bit, then I would, you know, sometimes clean the edge, make sure that we don't have cutting debris on it. It's smooth. So, and we'll continue doing this until it's, and of course, this edge, I mean, this part of the front here is skinny, so it's less meat, but the fiber here actually fairly tough, too. However, still not as much as here. But all the knife go into this same configuration, so the fairness is fine. So, and I, I will cut one more, then we're done with this video. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 15. And another line. That that means 30 now. And uh, we we'll test cutting the uh, paper. No problem. Well, and I kept continue, and you can see some of the steel. So far, like the ZDP 189, at already at 1500 cut. And you have STVV, Mora, sometimes stop cutting at about 500 and something. And here the list. This is how I keep track. And realistically, because some of these steel cut so many, I actually cut 75 cuts sometimes. Then I test for the newspaper because, uh, for the slicing of the newspaper. Because by the way it cut, I can tell whether or not the edge is. Uh, it's still sharp or it's dull. And of course, I was think going to test whether the news, uh, to cut news, I mean, printer paper. But I think even with newsprint here, when they cut it into the thousands, um, I think I will stop after cutting news, newsprint. And maybe the next test I will cut maybe some sort of really abrasive rope or something. Well, thanks for watching.